there were much fewer people in the congregation at church today. Over the past few years, homes have been burnt down here on the outskirts of Lahore and churches bombed in Peshawar. The Christian community feels isolated and neglected. I spent the last few days here in Lahore finding out what it's like to be Christian in Pakistan. Gunmen guarding a church. I meet Pastor Shaquille and say it's strange to see gunmen outside a place of worship. We have 20 to guard us on a Sunday, he says. Yohanabad is the most densely populated Christian area in Pakistan. It was attacked last year. Inside the Free Church School, there are usually 40 children in this class, but many are too scared to attend since the Lahore Park bombing. Pastor Shaquille has buried six of his flock in one day. Our people are very poor. They can't afford the time to protest the attacks. We really need the support of Muslims of Pakistan and the government. As Christian citizens, we love and pray for Pakistan. In a national address, Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif said each and every drop of blood is being counted. The score will be settled. It's being settled, apparently, by the military and police in Ray on terrorist hideouts across the country. What about the beast within us? What about the beast that is within our houses and our society? If we do not address those problems, this military operation will be a waste. Minority rights worker Cecil Chaudhry says successive governments have made space for extremists. The roots of radicalization of Pakistan are in its biased laws. When you exclude the role of religious minorities from your textbooks, when you start putting material that is biased towards or discriminatory towards other faiths. So how will they actually respect minorities when they grow up? Cecil's father, a decorated war veteran and pilot in two wars, has been removed from the history books. And this ad clearly says it's looking for non-Muslims to clean toilets. The ad was later retracted, but exposed the institutionalized discrimination. In Yohanabad, we found the Christian community feels isolated and neglected. My husband is a day laborer, but sometimes doesn't find work. I only get cleaning jobs. It's clear our area is neglected because we're Christians. No roads or pavements, no running water. If our voices aren't being heard, how can we live here? We are under attack. The blasphemy law has often been manipulated to persecute minorities, including Christians. In a highly publicized case, Asia Bibi, a Christian mother of five, was sentenced to death for blasphemy. Salman Dasir, the Muslim governor of Punjab, called for the death penalty to be revoked. He was gunned down by his own guard. At Sunday service, a special song, praying not just for Christians, but for citizens of all faiths in Pakistan who should be seen as equals in the eyes of the state. And in fact, it's not just Christians. The Hazara, Shia and Ahmadi communities have also been targeted. And by the way, more Muslims died in this bombing on Easter Sunday than Christians. And I spoke to a Muslim man who told me, in fact, he feels like a minority in Pakistan because if you're not the right sect of Islam, you could be targeted too.